Hello everyone, I'm Rick Zanotti, and you're watching another episode of Captivate Quick Tips from Relate. Well, it's been a while, but we now have the ability to show you Captivate 5. Yes, it's finally almost here. Should be here shortly. In the meantime, here is a quick look at some of the new interface features of Captivate 5. I'll just create a blank project, and you'll immediately notice that there are some differences to the interface. Uh, let me click on the film strip. I'll add a couple of slides, just like before with a Control shift j You can also still right-click and insert your new slides and everything else here. So this is very simple, uh, similar to Captivate 4. However, this is where the similarities end. If I click here on the interface, I'm going to do a Control minus and you'll notice I've made my work area small and there's a lot of space around it. Well, guess what? This space is now useful. You can have objects off screen like you do in PowerPoint, Flash, or other applications and bring them on screen when you need them. This is brand new and it is a powerful new feature. We'll get into a lot of these new features in future podcasts so that you can learn to use Captivate 5 as well as possible. Down here, we've got some new things. We have the timeline, which has basically the same, but it's got a little bit of a new look and feel. Then we have our effects tab. Now, effects are brand new. These allow you to create um, motion paths. It allow you to do all sorts of different kinds of filters and effects on any object that you have on the stage. Brand new, very powerful feature. With this, you don't always have to go to Flash, Swish, or other tools. You can do it right within Captivate. That is a real big time saver. My favorite new feature, Master Slides. Just like PowerPoint, you can now have a Master Slides with certain properties, objects, and everything that you can apply to slides later on. You can also create multiple Master Slides. So I can say Insert, Master Slide. Now I have two. Let's say I want to change the background color of the Master Slide. I can come right over here, change it from default background, choose a new color. Let's say I like that color. And let's go to the second slide now, and we'll change that color to something else as well. We'll make it something a little bit lighter, maybe that color. We now have two Master Slides with two different colors. Now, notice that in the film strip, the first slide corresponds to the first master slide. This is by default. Now, if I don't like that, I can attach a different master slide to it. I can go back here to our Properties tab. And by the way, you notice there is now a Properties tab here where all of your properties are. No longer do you have the pop-up window come up. This is much more efficient, much easier to use in, in a lot of ways. I can click on Master Slide and choose, let's say, the second master slide. And notice over here, in the film strip, it's changed. And now I've applied Master Slide 2 to, to this. If I go into Master Slide 2 and add objects, they will reflect immediately on any of the slides. This is great. Well, that's it for a very brief. Actually, let's do one more thing before we wrap this one up. Notice over here, you've got different views. These are your interface views. We're in Classic View right now. Let's say we want to go into Navigation View also known as Branching View in Captivate 4. This gives you a very good view of what's going on inside your Captivate pieces. We can go into our Quizzing View. And so what this does is it changes all of our properties and gives us different interfaces based on what we are doing. This is our Widget View, a small change there. Let's go back to our Classic View. So there you have it, a very quick overview of some of the differences in Captivate 5 as far as interface goes. In future podcasts, we'll go into a lot more detail as to what you can do with Captivate 5. For Captivate Quick Tips, I'm Rick Zanotti. Thanks for listening, watching, and subscribing. We'll see you next time.